my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you our trip to Ketchikan, Alaska. This is the first port we went to during our 7-day cruise via Ruby Princess in celebration of our 25th wedding anniversary in 2015. As you can see, Ruby Princess is a very big ship. It offers nearly 900 spacious balconies so you can see the world as you sail towards new adventures. In every stateroom, it features plush beds, a refrigerator, a flat screen TV, 100% cotton high thread court linens, complimentary 24 hour 24 hour room service, a desk, a hair dryer, and a safe. And then this was built in 2008 and uh, it was last refurbished in 2015. It was registered in the Bahamas. Its length is 961 feet. So the crew size is 1,200 with passenger capacity of 3,000. Ketchikan is known as Alaska's first city because it's the first major community travelers come to as they journey north. Located on an island, Ketchikan began life as an Indian fishing camp. The name Ketchikan comes from a Tinglit phrase that means eagle with spread out wings a reference to a waterfall near town. In the early 1900s, when gold was Alaska's claim to fame, fishing and timber industries were established in Ketchikan. The growth of these industries helped to make this inside passage port Alaska's fourth largest city. Visitors to Ketchikan will be intrigued by its rich native heritage which includes the world's oldest collection of totem poles at Totem Heritage Center. The Hilda, Tinglit, and the Tamshan are all a part of the city's colorful history. Ketchikan, with its abundance of salmon, is also a sport fishing paradise. Sightseers will be impressed with both the scenic town and its surroundings. We, we had a private tour with Ketchikan Tour Company when we went to Ketchikan, Alaska. So we went to a park and it shows a very beautiful scenery with all the trees and the nature. Our trip uh, in Ketchikan is the uh, favorite totem pole park uh, in Ketchikan where you will be view the Native American totem poles they have museum as you can see there are a lot of animals there that they preserved they have moose they have uh, deer they have bears and also they have the antique firearm museum and you will see here the different firearms that Alaskans have. You see the bear, the big bear at the back of my husband? It's really huge. They have a nice a souvenir shop. And uh, you can see those carvings. Uh, this is an Alaskan doll. You see the uh, tribal mask that they have. They also have an antique car museum with a handful of fabulous cars from the early 1900s. Inside the park is a large clan house, tribal house, with several, several smaller tribal houses alongside. Each tribal house has elaborate wall carvings, both inside and out. The main clan house has four differently carved house posts, as well as a huge wall carving of a mother bear and cub. This one is a carving shed where you got to meet there you can get to meet a totem pole carver. Uh, there is nothing in this world like seeing a totem pole being carved up close. So this is the large um, 
You can see there are salmons there. On the opposite wall is a large thunderbird carving and there are several other carvings both inside and outside the house of raven, killer whales, wolves, and eagles. These carvings are absolutely gorgeous. This is the Pachlak uh, Park. There are smaller uh, tribal houses that you can walk through, but most are decorative only. And be sure to, in to walk inside the house that was used as a smokehouse. This one is like a, uh, a very nice totem pole. It's like a dinosaur. Patlach Park. This is one of the famous uh, totem pole park in uh, Ketchikan, Alaska. They have elaborate carvings, wall carvings, both inside and out. The main clan houses four differently carved posts as well as huge wall carving of a mother bear and her cub. Very, very nice. I love this place. V very elaborate car carvings. And you see the views uh, inside, outside? Oh, it's really gorgeous and majestic. I really love it, going here in Ketchikan. Beautiful inside and outside. Look at the mountain with the snow. It's really beautiful. Another part of our tour is we went to a place where we can see the different animals in, uh, in their habitats. So this is a fallen tree when they had a big storm in Alaska. So you will see the view of the majestic mountain. And then here with my son, we went to a place where you can see the bald eagle. Wow, really fabulous animal. Fabulous bird in its habitat. And look at my son, he's looking at the crabs. And here, another bird. Look at the bald eagle looking at the majestic mountain. What a view, very beautiful in their natural habitat. Very nice view. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and please click the notification bell for more video updates. Thank you for watching.